Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's obvious uh, to all of us that a conference dealing with Israeli-European relations would not be complete, unfortunately, without a session dealing with anti-Semitism. To do so, however, is to do so today, however, is a particularly daunting task given the very significant differences between the situation in the new and old Europe. To cite just one example, all one has to do is examine the attitude towards Holocaust-related issues to see what a gap there is between Eastern and Western Europe. As in the West, in the countries which established the European Union, Holocaust education and sensitivity to Holocaust issues play an important role in the fight against anti-Semitism. They're also part of the reason that anti-Semitism, which is to a large extent unacceptable in mainstream Western society, has morphed in certain circles into anti-Zionism and unfair criticism of Israel. In Eastern Europe, on the other hand, instead of serving as an inoculation of sorts against anti-Semitism, Holocaust issues are the primary catalyst for anti-Semitism of the traditional variety. In many of these countries, there's much admiration for, lit for Israel, but little tolerance and our understanding for local Jews. Thus, in the West, the generally accepted narrative of World War II and the Holocaust is virtually sacrosanct, whereas in the East, several of the governments, particularly in the Baltics, but also in Hungary, Croatia, and Romania, have been investing millions in rewriting the history of the Shoah to hide or at least minimize the highly important role of local Nazi collaborators and the, promote the canard of equivalency between communists and Nazi crimes. Having protested during the past six weeks against three marches of extreme right ultra nationalist Baltic activists and countess Vilnius and Riga, at which a total of some 7,000 people participated, and in which one of the important themes was a re revised and totally narr false narrative of the history of the Shoah, I can tell you that we're not dealing with an inconsequential marginal element of Lithuanian and or Latvian society. Luckily, we have two very excellent speakers who will address the daunting challenge of answering the question, is anti-Semitism a factor in Europe and Israel a new paradigm? They're undoubtedly among Israel's top, top experts in the field, and in fact, both have recently been awarded the Lifetime Achievement of the Journal for the Study of Anti-Semitism. 